Hi, I'm Daniel Mettler from TUSIC Internet Solutions, and in this very short video, I'm going to show you how to quickly install 2SXE, 2SXE content, and add some apps. Now, specifically, we're going to just install the module, then we'll auto install some default apps just to see if everything works, and then we're going to add one app by ourselves, a specific one that we want to download. So, let's get started. Um, what we have here is a version DNN732. And I'm already logged in as a host user, so I'm going to quickly um, log in and install 2SXE. And what we're going to do here is we're simply going to go through the forge and we're going to quickly go through this and say yes, let's deploy this. It's a very simple procedure. So in case this was just too fast, look again, we're on host, extensions, more extensions, look for 2SXE and then we will simply deploy it. What it does in the background is it downloads the newest version for you and of course will install everything. So here goes. Um, of course you have to confirm all the infos and things like that and the rest should be fully automatic. What happens now is the module gets installed just like any normal DNN module and it will add two new options into your module selection. So let's just look at that quickly course it does need a reboot. Give it a second. So what we will need next is we're going to need a new empty page onto which we're going to add these modules. So what you'll see now is if we add these modules we now have a module called app and a module called content. Um, I'm going to skip the content module for this video and I'm just going to add the app module. And the app will have like pre-packaged components doing things for you. So let's just uh, close this. And I could install an app manually or I could also say please just install some default apps for me just to get started. It does, it adds a QR code app, a timeline and an FAQ app just so I can discover the functionality. And I'll just click this in the background, it'll download them from an app catalog and just add them. So this is just the easiest way to see if everything works. And of course, the apps are very good to discover functionality and to learn Razor because they contain uh, quite a bit of Razor code samples. And so everything apparently worked. So how do I see this? Well, of course, I could like say, please show me my QR code app. And I could then go in and like add a different QR code, for example, if I felt like it. Um, I could add comments. I could also say that I would rather have the QR code in a different view, like a hidden view. Um, I could check if the FAQ works. So here apparently everything is working fine. So that's a great thing. I even have the timeline, everything seems to work. So let's install the app that we want to install manually. And for this we must download it. Um, you can download it from different places like from the catalog. In this specific case I already downloaded it. It's this tutorial learn Razor RSS app and I will upload it. So I just downloaded it. Everything seems to work. Um, this is my app management. I could change some things here, but let's just skip this. And I should now be able to add this tutorial app into my page and hopefully everything works. As you see right now, I have a blog feed. The more link should bring me to this specific entry. Perfect. So it really looks like the app is working. Let's do one final check. Let's uh, go to a different website. Um, let's go to DNN Connect and try to check that one's RSS feed, which would be this address. And we'll see it has a different um, messages. It starts with introducing the DNN training working group. So, okay, it's the same one actually almost. So it's almost the same blogs, but let's just quickly check. I will now go in and go to edit and see test this is the new feed and please just show me let's say 20 items and we will see if this works tada everything works so that's it let's go back to the powerpoint presentation thank you for watching this was how to install two sexy content and the automatic apps and um an app specifically you wanted i hope you liked it i hope you understand it for any questions just go to the blog and post them. Thank you. This was Daniel Mettler, Two Sick Internet Solutions.